From the time that you got to Los Angeles from Ohio to then, you know, working for Tom Hanks and, and being part of these projects, was there a moment where it hit you where you're like, wow, this, I'm actually doing this? Like, was there some type of a, anything that happened, you're out maybe getting lunch, where you, you know, it's easy to lose sort of focus in LA and you're so busy trying to do something and looking for a parking spot or an apartment, whatever, that it's easy to get lost in that you're really actually doing what you set out to do. Was there a moment where it hit you? I think there were a few moments. It, it does, things tend to happen in a gradual way and they build one, one on top of the other. So it's like the first day I'm working at a movie studio, exciting, I get to drive through the gate, they let me in, whatever. But then that becomes just an everyday, normal, boring thing. Thing, right and so then the next thing and the next thing but a series of things that were the big things probably what I told you about when I was offered that promotion was probably the biggest thing um, but there were moments I mean even as an assistant when Tom Hanks won his back-to-back -back Oscars for best actor I was the guy that took the statuette to the Academy the next day to get the nameplate put on because that's how they did it I don't know if they still do it that way so like driving in my beat-up Toyota with a Oscar for best actor on my seat that was a moment <laughs> um, for sure. Um, there was a moment during the filming of Band of Brothers where I got to uh, ride on a private jet from, from London to L.A. with just Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg, and me. We were the only three people passengers on the jet. Oh, wow. And Steven was, like, showing Tom these, both of us, these, like, Stanley Kubrick movies and giving commentary because he was close friends with Kubrick. Uh, you know, that was definitely, I mean, I was already, like, a sort of producer on the project and had meetings and I'd worked with Tom for years by that point, but Steven was a new thing to be around him and the, the two of them and just be us was definitely a moment that you, you know, 10 years later we'll be telling people on YouTube about <laughs> or 15 years, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of those moments. I mean, I've got, got to meet and work with, you know, some very well-known, successful, great people and got to be, you know, um, you know, just see different levels of, hey, I've done this now and I've succeeded at this or this has happened, certainly getting to go to the Emmys and go on stage as part of the group, it was a, was a big moment, you know, of course. And that was the moment that everybody back home was like, oh, you've really done something now. That's definitely val validates what you've been doing when you have that, you were on television on an award show right. next to Tom Hanks kind of thing. In a tux. Yeah, in yeah. a tux, yeah. <laughs> Do those jobs still exist? anymore in terms of you said there was a temp pool and I, I'm not sure how plentiful sort of this temping is anymore. I think they still exist. I mean certainly that path where you become an assistant like generally right out of college in your 20s working for an agency or a production company or just a temp at a studio. I think that definitely still exists. I don't know if the studios still have in-house temp pools in the same way they did then. I think they might have moved more towards outsourcing it with agencies. In those days they did both. But there's definitely a number of temp agencies that service the entertainment industry specifically. And if you just Google temp agencies Los Angeles entertainment, that front page of Google will pretty much have them all on there. And I think it's probably still fairly easy to apply to those agencies because they're always looking for new temps. And I don't know what, what testing they do. I mean, I know I had to do like typing speed test and can you use Microsoft Word and this and that. Uh, they probably still do a little bit of testing and interviewing, but to get registered with one of those agencies, I think, is the, probably the first step and not so hard of a step, um, with, at least with some of them. And then hopefully they assign you places where you like it and do a good job and that gets you going.